Hello, I'm Admiral Bumblebee, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to do dynamic EQ side chaining in FL Studio. Please watch my previous video on this so you can understand why you might want to do this and what exactly is happening. Right now, I'm just going to show you the mechanics of how to do it in FL Studio, so let's get on with it. First thing you do is add a peak controller to your kick track. Then add the EQ of your choice to your subtrack. We'll be using Fruity Parametric EQ in this. Tune the EQ until the sub sounds good when the kick is hitting. Click the multi-link controllers knob, then adjust the gain of the EQ band that you used. Then click the multi-link controllers knob yet again. In the MIDI controller window, set your mapping formula to inverted and then set your internal controller to peak controller, peak. The next thing we need to do is hit play and adjust bass on the peak controller until the EQ band in the EQ is neutral when the kick drum is not hitting. The vol knob in peak controller adjusts the intensity of the effect. And if you turn it down, it will let you set the bass more accurately. Adjusting the decay knob on peak controller will help emphasize or de-emphasize the tail on the kick. Alright guys, thank you once again for watching another video. Check out my website AdmiralBumblebee.com. Make sure you check the other video explaining how this technique works. And check out my Patreon at Patreon.com slash AdmiralBumblebee. Goodbye.